reinvented. Timeless elegance, reinterpreted. I love how brands are like, we have reinvented, reinterpreted something crazy. We have done something amazing. And it's like, giving Goyard his gift is hard. And then I love how they throw in the paired with the personalization option because they want you to personalize it. My experience with buying secondhand Goyard bags, which has been terrible. They've all been fake. I wonder if this is a replacement for the Boeing 25. Hello, my friends. Where am I going again? 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 Okay, so I have a couple of Goyard update videos coming very soon. First of all, this video is gonna be about a new bag that just launched today, or maybe it launched earlier, but I got, I got it officially launched today. They, made, they sent an email about it. So we're talking about that new bag real quick, and then all the videos I have coming out for Goyard, there's a big update. Uh, a Paris update, a limited edition bag update, a update of my account <laughs> and what's going on, a secret behind the scenes update that I've learned. And I'm gonna do like an all encompassing Goyar, everything I know, everything I know, everything I've ever known video update as well. So those are coming up. I might've missed one or two, but. Oh, and there's another bag that came out that I did a video on that I'll post later, even though it's after this, but bleh. Anyway, okay, so that's all I got. Thank you guys. Okay, all right. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. video. My name is Mike. I'm a fashion freak. I go to Geek a Luxury Level. I shop all the shit. I'm a name as well. Cartier King. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mike. I'm a fashion freak. I go to Geek a Luxury Level. shop all the shit. And today we're going to be doing a quick Goya bag update. June 2nd, Goyar update, if I post this on June 2nd, but they just launched, they launched a new bag. So we'll talk about it real quick. And so if that's something you're interested in, please come around, please smash that like button, please consider subscribing and keep on watching. Okay, if you know this bag or you've seen this bag, it's the, it's a new, it just came out today. There was an email about it. It's a new version of the Vendome. Or if you know anything about this bag, please leave it in the comments below. If you have any questions about Goyar or anything you want to know, please leave it in the comments below. If you want me to talk about a specific thing, leave it in the comments below. I will let you guys know. And I can't wait to see you in the comments below. Okay, so let's pull this up because I just have the email basically to go on, but it's a new bag. Top Chef Chic, the cosmetic, the Vendome cosmetic pouch. So basically it's a mini version of the Vendome bag, which is their kind of like top handle bag like that, like a kind of like an Alma. And that Vendome comes in a, a PM and a mini size. And it's like basically, yeah, it's like leather corners, two top handles and a zipper pouch, kind of like the Louis Vuitton Alma or the Bolide from Hermes. So they just launched this new bag called the Vendome Cosmetic Pouch. So it's the timeless elegance of the Vendome has been reinterpreted as a travel cosmetic pouch. I love, I love how when brands, I think I said this in the other video, but I love how brands are like, we have reinvented, reinterpreted something crazy. We have done something amazing. And it's like, you've done something, you know, a child could have come up with. Anyone could have come up with it. Like a smaller size of the same bag. But okay, whatever. It's 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 the way of the wording and things like that. Reinvented. Timeless elegance. Reinterpreted. In the early 20th century, Robert Goyard imagined a bold new bag in homage to Place Vendôme, one of the epicenters of French elegance located a stone's throw away from the Goyard's historic comptoir on Rue Saint-Honoré. Vendôme bag, the first dome-shaped bag by a Parisian house. Interesting, didn't know that. Okay, so they beat Louis and Hermès was born. The worthy heir to this groundbreaking classic, the Vendome cosmetic pouch cap captures all the emblematic features of its forebearer and most notably its dome shape, while subtly adding practical details like a water repellent lining for easy care. Ooh, water repellent lining. Light and petite, the Vendome cosmetic pouch easily slips into a bag or a suitcase, making a great gift for all occasions. A gift, mm. especially paired with a personal personalization option. I love that because the fact that Goyard is saying a great gift, which as you guys know, I love giving Goyard gifts, but like giving Goyard his gift is hard because they limit you on how many bags you can get a year, right? So you can only get five. So if you're gifting one, that's one of your five. I've made exceptions, I've had exceptions, but it's actually now, I think they're stricter in catching down, they're not doing it, especially in France. The US still depends on your account, your profile and things like that. Like I still get exceptions, but France, no exceptions, but a great gift. And then I love how they throw in the paired with the personalization option because they want you to personalize it because then they can, it's almost like a, like a, another stamp. It's like their way of knowing that bag, who bought it and where it goes because they're so big about reselling and that's what their big whole thing about like limits and things like that and not having is about exclusivity and 
mystery and all that, but also to protect from people, everyone just having a bag and reselling it. And if they do, how to track a bag, I think the personalization thing is like track it. Like a lot of their bags, they only allow, like there are certain styles that they acquire personalization and then there are other styles, like sometimes they used to do limited edition bags, you have to get it personalized, like the pink ones, like the pink ones are way old, so that they knew you weren't reselling it or that your name is on it or it's harder to resell. And then they also, it's also a way to track it, but also it's a way of like deterring you from buying it if you are going to do that, I think, because if you get it personalized, it's just gonna be a harder, whatever. But then they can also track it from the personalization because it's like who got a bright pink M, who got a bright pink M with a star on a this bag? Like there's only so many orders of that, right? So, and like even at, like I think I've said this in France, like they'll have like, when I wanted to get the Artois GM. So I wanted a red one. They didn't have any red ones in the store. They said if I wanted to personalize it, they do have a red one available at the warehouse, but that one's only available for personalization. It wasn't gonna be coming to the store or wasn't gonna go anywhere. So if you buy it and get it personalized, they'd personalize it at the store and then send it send it to the store. But if you didn't, then it's not an option. So they keep certain inventory just for personalization, which I think is interesting. I don't know what, what the logic behind that is. Maybe that one was already being personalized and canceled or it's just staying in the warehouse right now or, or it's, a really popular color, so they want to have people personalize it. Like a really popular color that's on the resale market because Goyard resale is like a whole other world, which we can do a whole video about that and I will do a whole video about that. Actually, I'm going to do a whole video about Goyard resale. My experience with the two. Not reselling, my experience with buying, <laughs> buying secondhand Goyard bags, which has been terrible. They've all been fake. Every single one I've gotten was fake, unfortunately. So we'll talk about that in another video. But anyway, that's this bag. It's cute. It's just a little pouch, like a toiletry pouch. It's like another version of the Bowling 25. I wonder if this is a replacement for the Bowling 25, which on the website says Bowling, but I think it's Boeing, but who knows, the Boeing 25, because they're getting rid of the Boeing, so they might've gotten rid of the Boeing pouch too and replaced it with this. Actually, let's do a quick search. Goyard.com. Bowling toiletry bag is still there. The Boeing is now called the travel bag. And this Vendome, oh, I should also check Goyard's Instagram. Something smells weird. Chai, you smell that? Is that you? Did you fart? You fart. Okay, the Vendome's not on their site yet right now. I mean, not on their Instagram. They're just doing dog bowl and leash, the last two things. But, oh, interesting also, this Vendome doesn't have handles. So it's just a pouch. So it's like a Vendome sans handles. Let's see if Goyard Japan posted it yet. Nope, not yet. Okay, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you want it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you want it? Do you gonna get it? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, I gotta go, because it's super late. But that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing. If you liked it, please share it with your friends and friends. Please share with your friends and family. If you hate it, share it with your enemies. The next thing I know your time is valuable. I know it's precious. So I appreciate you spending your time here with me. Bye.